soon as he was a little baby. He used to sit in one of our laps when the hockey game was on TV and just kind of be mesmerized by it. From there, about two and a half, I took him out for his first public skate. I put him at center ice. I moved five, 10 feet away from him. Fell down a few times. I didn't help him up. He kind of got up and then started to walk to me. The very next day, I took him to a pond with a stick and a puck, and by the end of three, four hours, he was kind of taking little strides with the puck and the stick. How long have you been playing hockey? Um, for a long time. Who's your favorite hockey team? Toronto Maple Leafs. Childhood dreams don't usually work out like this. It's one thing to be drafted into the NHL, but to go to the team you cheered for before you were able to walk, that's rare. But it's a reality for Mitch Marner. This year, just a few weeks before the announcement of the Maple Leafs' final roster, Marner is back to a familiar place. Okay, try to get off that outside edge. As soon as I yell now. Now! That's better. Paul, his dad, called me on the phone and said, how old do you take kids? I said six. He said, well, I have a four-year-old. She's like, I don't take four-year-olds. It's not a babysitting school. And it got to the point where, you know what? All right, bring him. Brought him and picked him up over the boards and said, here he is. And I grabbed him and I said, oh my God, he's like a little guy. You know, first few drills, Rob said, go around a pylon on the forehand, go around on the backhand. Mitch did it. And from there, we've been going ever since. Entering his draft year with the London Knights, Marner fell into a scoring slump. Desperate to find his game again, he returned home. We talked to Dale and Mark and they were great. We brought him home, we took him back to Rob. And then uh, by the time he came back, uh, Guns blazing. he went on a tear. Marner finished the season second in scoring in the CHL. He was one of the top prospects entering the draft. I'm proud to announce from the London Knights, Mitch Marner. Taken fourth overall by Toronto, Marner became the highest drafted Leafs player in history to call the region home. Mitch is one of our own. You can't get more Toronto and GTA than him. What he's going to be able to do for this city, I think as he continues to develop, is going to be awesome. When we were going there the very first time, he took us around the arena and Mitch and I were stood there and we just squeezed his hand and he just squeezed mine back and I'm like, this is going to be home ice. I just said, my gosh, Mitch, this is it. Marner made his NHL home debut the same night the organization celebrated its centennial season. And at home, in front of the Leafs legends, he started his own story. Great pass to Mitch Marner. He shoots, he scores! I was so numb because I watched it and you're kind of like, he just scored, <laughs> that I was kind of just like, I couldn't believe it. Mitch Marner! Of course, my wife, as we all know, was in the, the bathroom. I was washing my hands and I heard celebrating. And then I heard 60 and I was like, oh my God. I just chucked the garbage into the garbage can. I just started running out and I saw the lady and I go, who just, who just got a goal? She goes, yeah, the least, uh, the new guy, 16, Marner. And I was like, I'm his mom. Mitch Marner's journey to the NHL may be 19 years in the making, but for Leaf fans, this hometown story is only just beginning.